right. Good morning, everyone. Um, if you rode with me um, in the last class, welcome back. Go ahead and um, get adjusted here. So what you'll need in this class is you'll need a light. You'll need a um, water towel. You can choose whether or not you want to work out in socks or bare feet. Um, either or is good. If for any reasons you have any toe issues, you can always just work out in your shoes. I'm just going to pull this down just a little bit more so we can all see each other so you can kind of see what I see. If for any reason you need um, modifications or anything like that or you need some, if you need um, something for stability, you can always use your couch, you can use a wall. Um, if you have your bike and you just rode with us, you can use your bike. But I want you to make sure you do have some handy tools near you where um, you'll feel good, you'll feel comfortable, and you'll feel confident. Now let's go ahead and get started this morning. So we are, bar is very low impact, if you did not know. Um, it can kind of be any way I'm a bar above instructor. So I, my style is a little more strength style. And we're also gonna add a tiny bit of hit to what we're doing today, just so you guys know what's coming at you, all right? This should be very gentle on your body. We're going to get you nice and warm to begin with. So if you didn't join the class, I do have a nice and easy warm up for you before we get started. Since this is only 30 minutes, let's go ahead and get right on into it. Go ahead and stand up nice and tall for me, team. Roll your shoulders back. <sighs> wiggle out your fingers, wiggle out your toes. Just give me some shoulder shrugs going back. Nice. Now go ahead and give me a great big inhale. Fill your lungs and belly up all the way with air. And exhale, let it go. One more. Big inhale in. And exhale. Let it all out. Good. Roll your shoulders back. Now, I'm going to have you take your feet up shoulder width apart. I'm going to have you find a little nice deep sit. Good. So in this deep sit, I'm going to have you keep your core nice and tight. Push your hips back. When we say long spine, we just mean a neutral spine. So head goes down to the ground. Go ahead and lift on out of it. Squeeze your glutes. Tuck your upper abs. Do that again. Squat and lift squat and lift. So all we're going to do is just a nice and easy squat right here. Squat and lift, squat and lift. So now that you're used to this squat and lift tempo, I'm going to have you drive the knee into your chest. So you'll lift the leg, squat, lift another leg, squat and lift squat and lift. As you drive your knee into your chest, really what you're doing is you're picking up your knee, but you're also getting extension in the standing leg. So you should feel in your booty just a little more. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and find that chair pose for me one more time. Hands up nice and tall. Good. Come down one more inch, one more inch, come on up. So now we're going to keep the vibe moving and flowing. So I'm going to have you squat to the side, bring it in, squat out, bring it in. So squat in, squat in, squat and in, squat and in. Bring your hands out to the side and in, bring them out, bring them in. You have four, three, two and one. We're gonna go back to that squat with that knee raise. Squat and that knee raise. Squat, knee raise, squat, knee raise. Four more, so two more on each side. Make sure you're breathing. Two more, one more. Nice, now from here, I'm gonna have you find an extended curtsy lunge. So knee forward, back leg is going to extend out. So now I want you to hinge forward. And as you hinge forward, bend this knee and I'm gonna have you reach out. So now you should really feel the side knee activated, right? All right, so from here, we're gonna extend and then we're going to come up to a sumo plie and I'm gonna have you plie. So it'll be a sumo plie, sumo plie. All right, team. All right, let's go ahead and find that. Find me in this extended, extended curtsy. Hinge forward, slide into your knee, reach your opposite arm. So reach that extended leg back. There we go. Find that and come up plie. So let's go ahead and make it flow it, flow it out. Plie. Good. Plie A, extend, plie A. Four more, good. Three, nice. Two, one more. Whew. 
Good team. Now from here, I'm going to have you shift both hips forward. I'm gonna have you find a little lunge. So this lunge can be a demi lunge, but I want you to make sure you keep your abs over your hips. So lunge and lift, lunge, lift. Four, three, two, and one. Now I'm gonna have you hold it right here. I'm going to have you lean forward, pull your back leg down on the ground for a little can't um, hamstring calf stretch. And I'm going to have you lean forward and then bring it back in. Oh, you feel that lengthening? And bring it in. So hinge forward and in. Hinge it up, bring it in. Nice, forward and in. Now I'm gonna have you round your back and bring it in. Round your back and bring it back in. Two more, round and in. Last one, and now we're gonna scoop down and bring it up. Scoop down to the ground, bring it up. Good job team, scoop it down, bring it up. Two more, scoop it down and lift. Last one, scoop it down and bring it up. Way to go, team. Now go ahead and meet me right back here in the center. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to start from the top, and we're going to go over to our other side. So I'm going to have you start with a nice squat and a knee drive. So go ahead and find me in this chair pose. Squat down. So you'll squat, raise your right knee, squat, raise your left knee, squat, raise your right knee, squat, raise your left knee. So now it's not as um, fast as the last round, but we're gonna move in just a tiny bit more control and lift. You have four more, three, two, and one. Now keep this right foot up, all right? Now we step out to the side, bring it in, out and in. Out, in, out, in. Now we're just slowing it down on this side. I always find when we hit the left side, it's always just a little harder, right? Just if you're right dominant, just a little harder to connect to the left side of your body. Good. Two more times. So take it out here, and now we're gonna take it out to the side. From here, go ahead and stand up. Keep this left foot planted. Bring your right foot behind you. Extend that right foot, right? Find a soft bend in this front left knee. Hinge forward. So now we're in that curtsy. Reach that extended arm out nice and long. Yeah, there we go. Now from here, you're going to step in, plie. So let's do that again. Nice and slow with me. So curtsy and plie. All right, let's speed it up. Curtsy, plie, curtsy, plie, curtsy, plie. You have four, three, two, and one. Now team, go ahead, transition your body to the other side. So now your left foot is back, your right foot is forward. Tuck your upper abs, we're gonna find that demi lunge, remember? So lunge down, lift up high, lunge down, Lift up high. Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and bring it back to the center. I'm gonna have you sumo squat, and I'm gonna have you raise your right hand above your head. Sumo squat, and come to the side. So it's really a plie and a side bend. Good. Squat and raise. Squat and raise. Now, I'm gonna have you lift your opposite limb Squat, lift the opposite limb. So now you should really fill in the side booty. Yeah, four, good, three, bring it up. You have two, one more. Take it up and hold it there. Hold it there, team. Can you find this one leg balance? Bring your hands out, flex your toes up to your head, and relax. Flex those toes up, relax. Two more, flex, relax. Flex, relax, go ahead and set that foot down. Now we're gonna do it again. Go ahead and single squat, raise your left hand, come up to the left side, squat and lift, squat and lift. Good, four more, four, three, two, good. Now we're gonna take it over to the left side. So go ahead and lift and lift that left leg up. 
reach his hand up, find that one single leg balance, and go ahead and open up your chest, flex your toes in, take them out. Flex them in, take them out. Flex them up, take them out. Two more, lift, one more. Bring it in and go ahead and set that down. Way to go, team. Now we're gonna hit the ground. We're gonna do a little bit of a, we're gonna do some push-ups and we're gonna light up the core as well. If you need your modification, you're here, all right? So you'll start here. If not, you're gonna work your way down to the ground with us, all right? So come onto the ground. I'm gonna have you find a high plank position first. So high plank, roll your shoulders back, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your hamstrings. Now I'm gonna have you drop one knee down to the ground and I'm gonna have you drop the other knee down to the ground, all right? So this is a um, partial plank. From here, I'm gonna have you drop your hips down a little bit lower, squeeze your glutes, roll your shoulders back, open up your chest nice and wide, all right? Now I'm gonna have you lift right leg, lift left leg. There we go. Go ahead and bring those back down to the ground. Lift them up, bring them down, lift them up, bring them down, lift them up four more. You have four. Lift, three, lift, two, lift one more, down, lift it up. Go ahead and take those knees down. Find a bit of a child's pose, releasing any tension or any pressure that's going on in that lower back. All right, team, so we're going to do that again, but this time that you're used to lifting an opposite limb and dropping, you're so dropping both limbs, we're gonna drop a single. So when we drop a single limb down, so dropping one knee down, we're gonna find a push up. So watch how I do this. So I'm gonna be in a high plank. I'm going to drop my left knee down and I'm going to push up. When I lift myself back up, I'm back into a high plank. Then I'm gonna switch sides, drop my right knee, find a push up. Then I bring it up, find my high plank. So we're gonna move through that sequence. We're gonna do five right, five left. So that's 10 total push-ups. As soon as we come out of doing these push-ups, I'm going to have you find a low plank. So we're really gonna light up that core, all right? Let's go ahead and find that. Find a high plank position. Make sure everything is stacked. Elbow, shoulders, elbows, wrist. Roll those shoulders back. Find that plank, three, two, one, and let's drop. So right, find that push up, back up, left, push up, back up, right, push up, back up, extend, right, push up, lift, extend, three, good, up, drop, down, lift, extend, drop, down, lift, extend, drop, down, lift, extend. One more on each side, drop. One more, drop, down, lift. Good, roll, push your hips back. Give those shoulders a little recovery right here for a second. Nice team. Now I'm gonna have you come forward for me again. Roll your shoulders back. Tuck those, untuck those toes. So now, toss up your feet on the ground. Take your feet out shoulder width apart. Fan those fingers out for a nice equal distribution of weight. Roll your shoulders back. I'm gonna have you find a push up, but come down halfway. And we're going to pulse it out here. Pulse a half push up. Four, three, two, one. Good. Now team, we're gonna walk down to a low plank. So, I want you to make sure that everything is still stacked. So, uh, shoulders are over those elbows. And I want your hands nice and flat, like you're going to do a push up, but they're going to connect to the ground, right? Now, there's more than one way to go into this type of plank. You can stay here, or you're going to tuck your toes. But I want you to make sure that your forearms are nice and parallel to each other, they're not reaching in. One is not doing this, one is not doing this. I want you to have full control. Now, once we find that low plank, we're gonna drop both knees down and then we're gonna push it back up. So you're gonna have to tuck your back toes. Maybe you find a couch, maybe you go to the wall and you just give me a high plank again, all right? Let's go ahead and find that. Find that low plank. Three, two, one. Come on up, team. Good. So now that you're here, drop both knees down to the ground, lift. Down, lift, down. Lift, down, lift, down, lift, down, lift. Five, four, good. Three, two, one more, one. Go ahead and recover. Nice job. 
Go ahead and grab some water, everyone. We're going to move on to a standing series. As you stand up and you get ready for this, I'm going to demo and go through what we're going to start with. So since, if you rode with me, since we're on a bike, we're going to start with, an op with open legs. So we're gonna find a sumo. We're going to sumo down, and then we're gonna bring it back up. But when you bring it up, I really want you to scoop your hips up underneath you, if that makes sense. So a sumo or a plie, whatever you wanna call it, they're both the same. They're both coached and cued the same. Feet are wide in the shoulder width apart, and you're gonna to toe out slightly. I'm going to have you reach your hands forward, plie down. What happens when we reach our hands forward, we recruit our core just a tiny bit more. So inhale takes you down. You have a nice long spine. Knees are out, toes are out. You're going to scoop your hips up under, push through your glutes, all right? Sometimes I notice we come up and we're leaning back. I want you to find that plank, that those planks that we were just doing. I want you to find those in the air. So squeeze your quads, squeeze your booty, and tuck your upper abs. So inhale takes you down, exhale brings you up. After we do that, we're going to move on. We're gonna hit the ground and we're gonna do some mountain climbers. So that's gonna be our little hit. But I'm gonna cue you through everything. So just make sure that you're listening up here, all right? Are you ready to get this done? By the way, I don't know if I said good morning to you, but good morning, happy Monday, Tuesday. Ah, what day is today? Does anyone know? Take those feet out shoulder width apart, toeing out. Three, two, one. Go ahead and find your deepest squat. Good. So get comfortable here. Rock side to side if you need to. Lift. Three, two, one. So lift, lower. Lift, lower. Lift it up. Take it down. Lift it up. Take it down. You can keep your hands out the entire time if you like. Lift, lower. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Make sure you're getting a nice squeeze at the top. So maybe you lift up a little quicker with a little more power. You have four, yes. Three, two more, two, one more. Hold it down at the bottom. So now that you hold it all the way down at the bottom, I'm gonna have you lift up halfway, all the way down. Halfway up, all the way down. Make sure you keep all feet connected to the earth. Lift, lower, lift, lower, four, three. Hold it down, hold it here. Pulse it out. So, drop, pulse, pulse, pulse. Five, yes, four seconds left. Three, two, hold it here, hold it here. For four, three, two, one. Come on out of that. Whew, shake it out team, how'd that feel? Hello glutes, hello hamstrings. Now from here, I'm gonna have you pivot over to the right side of your room. So we did this earlier in the warm up. So we're gonna find that lunge again. Grab anything if you need anything near you for balance, but we're gonna lunge straight down and back up. Make any adjustments in your legs if you need it, all right? So three, two, one, let's lunge. Drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop it down, lift it up. Four more, yes, three more, good. Two, one more. One, go ahead and open up. Now we're gonna take it over to the right side of the room. So now, right foot back, left foot forward. Three, two, one. Lunge, lift, lunge, lift. Now when you come up for a lift, I want you to make sure you're also pushing through that right glute. Good. Four, three, two, one. Way to go, team. Go ahead, come down to your high plank. We have mountain climbers. This is a 30 second mountain climber. After we come out of those mountain climbers, we're gonna come back up. We're gonna do this one more time. We're gonna do those sumos, and we're gonna do those side lunges, and then we're gonna drop and we have those mountain climbers. All right, find the high plank. Shoulders back or tight. So a mountain climber, drive your knee to your chest. Three, two, one, 30 seconds. Let's go, 30 seconds. 30 seconds, come on, 30 seconds. Let's go team, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, you got this so strong, so strong. This is low impact, but it's also a bit of a higher impact, but this is the highest impact that you're gonna do today. All right, you have nine seconds left. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
done. Whew. Ah. Catch yourself, I know, it's early for this. It's a little too damn early, right? We're gonna do that again. So we're gonna start with the squats, those sumo squats. We're gonna turn into a side lunge, so we're gonna shift our weight side to side. Back to the center, shift over to the other side. Then we immediately drop and we have those mountain climbers. One round through, you know how it feels. Let's own this next round, all right? Take those feet up, shoulder width apart. Towing out, here we go. Three, two, one, find that sumo squat, sumo, lift. Yes, come on, lower and lift, lower, lower. So this one is just a little quicker. Make sure you're thrusting those hips forward. Good, power from the bottom. Quick coming up, four more, three more, two, hold it down, hold it all the way down. Yes, come up halfway. So halfway, lower, halfway, lower. Keep those knees out wide. Squeeze your booty, good. You have four, three, two, one more, one, hold it down, pulse it up. So find your deepest squat, pulse it up, pulse it up, pulse it up, pulse it up, you have four, good. Three, good, two, good, one more, hold it here for eight counts. We're gonna switch over, right side, three, two, one. Go ahead and twist and turn, nice. Keep the same leg distance, if you need more, add more, if you need less, take it off. Go ahead and hinge forward for me a little bit. Keep your upper abs tucked. Here we go. Lunge, lift, lunge, lift, lunge, lunge, lift. Four, three, two, and one. Take over to your side. Good. Push our right glute. Lunge and lift. Keep that front hinge, right? Hinge, hinge. So here are both knees are getting a nice 90 degree bend. Four more, three more, two, one more, one. Go ahead and plant your hands. Take that leg back, mountain climbers. Three, two, one, let's go, mountain climbers. Now if you wanna go side to side, you really want them to go side to side. You need to slow it down, you slow it down, but you take it at the pace that you need it. Good, you're halfway there, 15 seconds. Come on, come on, come on. 15 seconds and you're done. That's all you have. You have nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and recover, team. Ah, so good. We're gonna stay on our back. So we're gonna come down to the um, to our backs with these next few sequences, okay? So laying on your back, I'm gonna have you take your feet up, shoulder width apart. We're gonna start with hip bridges. So hip bridges is what we're gonna get into. Then we're gonna come up, um, we have one more standing, and then we're gonna finish with core down here on the bottom, all right? So with these hip bridges, I'm also gonna have you activate the chest just a tiny bit. So I want you to take your elbows out wide. Get about a 90 degree, I'm sorry, a 45 degree, um, about 45 degrees work from your body, and then a 90 degree bend, so your knuckles are to the ceiling. Pushing your elbows down to the ground. Take your feet out wide, push your knees out. I'm gonna have you give me bridges, but when you bridge, you're going to lift your hands up and bring them to the center. When your hips come down, you take them down. So you'll lift and take them down, if that makes sense. So go ahead and come down and find me here. Here we go, three, two, one, let's do this. So lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift. Lower. So both hands are lifting up the ground as you push your hips up. Good. Lift and lower. Lift, lower. Four more. Three more, team. Two. Hold those hips up to the top. Hold your hands up. Now go ahead and turn your palms in towards one another. We're going to take those hips down. Halfway, all the way up. Halfway down, all the way up. Halfway down, all the way up. Halfway, up. Halfway. Lift, halfway. Lift, eight more here, seven more, breathe, six more, five, good, four more, squeeze the booty, three more, 
Good. Two, hold it up. Pulse it up at the top. So pulse it up. Pulse it up. Yes, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep your knees wide. Five, good. Four more counts. Yes, three, two, hold your hips up nice and high. Now from here, you're gonna bring one elbow down, switch sides. So you're gonna alternate elbows up and down. Down, lift, keep those hips high, keep those hips high. We're not done yet, you have four. Three, two, hold it here. Bring your elbows down, hold your hips up. Now I'm gonna have you lift your heels off the ground. Now you're on the tips of your toes. Hold them down, you're gonna bring your hips down. Keep your heels elevated, only on your toes. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Eight more, seven more, yes. Six more, hello air thighs, five more. Hello booty, four more, three more. Two, hold it up, hold it up. Pulse it at the top for eight counts. Yes, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and take those hips down to the ground. Hug your knees, bring those knees into your chest and let your hips go side to side. Just alleviating any lower back pain. To the other side. Good, all right team. We're gonna work our way back up to the top to a standing position. This is gonna be nice and easy, short and sweet, very simple. I'm going to have you give me a reverse lunge, then you're gonna bring your foot to tap, and then you have a curtsy lunge. We're just burning out the booty, burning out the inner thighs. So you reverse lunge, hands come forward. Your curtsy lunge, your hands are gonna go back. So if this is an extended back leg curtsy lunge, we're gonna do eight right, eight left. Then we're gonna drop, and we're gonna do some side planks we do a front plank, and then you're done for the morning, all right? <sighs> Ooh, all right, we're gonna start. Left side goes back first, right side first. Three, two, one, reverse lunge, and curtsy it out. Reverse, and curtsy, reverse, lift, curtsy, reverse, lift, Halfway, four more, four more. Good, curtsy. Three, good, curtsy. Two, lift, curtsy, one more. Good, and we switch sides. So left back and a curtsy. If you wanna keep your back leg extended, keep your back leg extended. Three, two, one, let's go. Curtsy, sorry, lunge, curtsy. Forward hinge, curtsy it out. Forward, up, curtsy, two, three, good, curtsy. Halfway, nice team, good, five more, curtsy, you have three, good, curtsy, two more, two, in, curtsy, one more time, in, up, curtsy, work your way down back to the, work your way down, back down to the ground. Keep your feet plant on the ground. Bring your hands behind your knees, lift your chest, bring your shoulders back. From here, I'm gonna you take your feet up, shoulder width apart, recline back slightly. Raise right hand up, raise left hand up. Now, we have oblique twists. So drop, lift, drop, lift. Bring those hands above your head, drop them both down, lift them up. Four more, three, good, two, one more, one, bring it up. Hold those hands up high, go ahead and raise all the up high, good. Now, from here, we're gonna do that again. Drop your left elbow down to the ground, lift it up, drop your right down, lift it up, bring it back. So, both hands lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, four more. Four, lift, three, lift, two, lift one more, and go ahead and lay, lay down on your back. Way to go, team. Now from here, I'm gonna have you lift your upper back off the ground. I'm gonna have you lift both knees, bring them into your chest. So now your shins are parallel. Lift your hands up to the sky and hold it here. Good. Head up high, head up high, long spine, long spine. Now from here, I'm going to have you alternate and drop the leg. So drop, bring it in. Good. So 
Drop, hold, bring it in. Switch sides. Drop, hold, lift it in your chest. Drop, hold, bring it in. Keep the shoulder blades off the ground. Drop, hold, bring it in. Drop, hold, and in. Nice. Drop, hold, bring it in. Good team. Drop, hold. One more time. Drop, hold. Bring your hands behind your head. Now by simple, side to side. You go at your own pace, but you have bicycles. The slower, the better. Bicycle, side to side. Bicycle, bicycle, bicycle. Four more. Four, three, two, one more. Good. Whew. Go ahead and lay back. Now. We have a side plank. We have 30 seconds right, 30 seconds left, and you are done this morning. So let's go ahead and find that side plank. I want you to make sure your bottom knee and your elbow are aligned. Bottom knee, elbow, line team. All right, five seconds. We come up high. Three, two, one, lift. Side plank. Now, of course, this is on the modified version. But I personally like the modified version because it really teaches alignment, right? If you can keep your bottom knee down and really um, make sure that your shoulder and your elbow are stacked and you're pushing into this forearm, you also get the same benefits and you get a little bit of the side glute, so the medius, um, and kind of get a little bit of attention here too. Five more seconds and we switch sides. So five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and switch sides. Make sure everything is aligned up. So shoulder, elbow, bottom knee, and your top elbow are aligned. Top leg is straight. Lift in three, two, lift up those hips, team. Nice. Good. Now, even though I can't see you, I want you to lift your hips up a little higher, and I want you to push both hips forward, and I want you to just get a lot of length in the upper back, in the upper back, right? Sometimes we get a little too tight here. Let's really develop those neck issues. Push yourself away. Fire up this lat here at the bottom. Ten more seconds, and you are done. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Take it down. Thank you so much for joining me, friends. 30-minute bar, and you are now done. Happy Tuesday, everyone. I hope to see you soon. I will be back tomorrow at noon for lower body conditioning. Um, and I will also be back here for bar on Thursday. So we have a 35-minute ride, and then we're going to do 30-minute bar. Bar on Tuesday is going to be a little more upper body heavy. Um, if you have cans, so canned foods, please bring those canned foods so we can kind of get a little bit of a pump in those arms as we're going through everything that we're going to um, go through on Thursday. Good morning. I love you. Happy Tuesday. See you soon. Bye.